If you're thinking about becoming a Pilates instructor, then the first thing you need to do is to start to attend Pilates classes to become familiar with the technique and the method and to feel the technique in your own body. It's important to do some research as well to familiarise yourself with the contemporary and traditional approaches to Pilates so that you know the difference between the two and also which route you wish to take. As a Pilates instructor, you need to be a good communicator to be able to engage with your participants and to build rapport. Pilates is a unique method, so therefore you need to have a passion for Pilates so that this will shine through in your teaching. When looking for a Pilates course, you need to find a good quality provider that has the learners at heart and provides a good mix of learning from e-learning to practical days. With Pilates being so practical in nature, it's really important that you're able to analyse the technique and really break the movements down so that you fully understand the method. If you've done your research effectively, you'll know whether you want to go down a contemporary route or a traditional route. So if you want to stay true to the method and uphold integrity of the method, then you'll be wanting to look for a provider that studies the movements in their original form. Future Fit Training look at the traditional exercises and how they can be adapted to meet the needs of the general public. Once you've chosen your course, you'll need to then get qualified. So it's important to know what kind of route you wish to go down, whether you want to specialise in different areas such as pre and postnatal, working with common orthopaedic conditions or even older population. For example, there are many niches available for you to choose from. Qualifying with a provider that enables you to work flexibly and at your own pace and in your own time around your personal commitments is something that will really benefit you. As a Pilates instructor, it's important to get insurance to teach Pilates to the general public. So you need to obtain insurance that's relevant to the qualifications that you hold. Getting professional liability insurance is important to ensure that you are protected in case of any accidents. Once you're a qualified Pilates instructor, there will be a number of options available to you. The most common route is to start a freelance business teaching out in the community or in local gyms or health clubs. There are other options too though. You could work one-to-one -one with clients in their homes or in your home, or you could even open up your own Pilates studio. As well as this, you could work with clients in a niche market such as pre and postnatal or for common orthopaedic conditions, providing you've got those qualifications too. The options are endless for you once you've got your qualification.